Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make spaghetti squash. And as always, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. If you've never had spaghetti squash and you're interested in eating healthier, you are gonna love this video. Spaghetti squash is a type of squash that after you roast it, is easily shredded into noodles that look just like spaghetti. After you've made this spaghetti squash, you might be wondering what to do with it. Well, you can do anything with it that you would normally do with spaghetti. So I love to eat my spaghetti squash with a little bit of marinara and some grilled chicken and sauteed mushrooms. First thing we have to do is cut our spaghetti squash and that can be no easy task. Uh, spaghetti squash is actually pretty firm skin and it can be a little bit dangerous. So let me show you how I do it. First thing I do is I grab a knife, and this is a very sharp knife, and that's very important here. With a dull knife, you might end up cutting yourself more than you would with a sharp knife, believe it or not. First thing I do is I, <laughs> I take the knife and I kind of do like a stabby shape. Like you're gonna stab somebody. Take it like you're gonna stab somebody, but don't stab anybody. And then line it up right in the middle of your spaghetti squash. Watch your fingers, and then just give it a stab. You wanna go all the way through, right to where you hit the cutting board. You don't wanna to push too hard because you wanna dull the end of your knife. And then what I'm gonna do is just pull it straight down. There we go. So we've made our first half of the cut in the spaghetti squash. And then what I'm gonna do is take it just like this. I'm gonna find that same groove that we were in and then work the knife all the way down. The stem is the toughest part, so you might just have to I think I need to go back to the gym. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the stem off because <laughs> that's way easier. So uh, if you have trouble just like I did, just take it, cut the stem off. And now it's done. <laughs> now that the squash has been opened up, what you're gonna see is you got a lot of like, almost like a uh, pumpkin. You know when you cut a pumpkin open at Halloween, you've got those kind of like fibers and you've got the uh, seeds in here. We wanna scoop all those out. So. Grab a spoon, you just wanna work the spoon around the edges and just scrape all of this stuff out. Which is a pumpkin a squash? They're all squash. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Can you eat squash seeds? Can you roast them? I don't know. No. Oh. Somebody please Google, can you roast squash seeds? And will you let me know in the comments if you can? Oop. Okay, so I'm not doing a great job of this, but you're getting the picture. Just scoop, scoop, scoop and get all the seeds out. And then now we're gonna do it uh, on the other side as well. Next thing we're gonna do is drizzle some olive oil all over our squash. And then this is something that I like to do. I like to rub the oil all over the squash. You don't have to worry about rubbing it on the outer skin of the squash, but definitely on the inside, you wanna make sure it's nice and evenly coated with olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick hand wash, be right back. Next thing we're gonna do is add salt and pepper. This is completely to taste. Two big pinches uh, of salt and two big pinches of pepper would probably do it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is flip the squash over and we're gonna cook them cut side down. Now I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. The cooking time totally depends on how big the squash is. But for this size, 30 to 40 minutes should cover us. It's been 30 minutes and I just took the squash out of the oven and I cannot wait to flip them over to see how they look. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more recipes just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's give them a flip. Whoa, those look so beautiful. Look at that. And come get a shot of this. This is exactly how they should look. They look perfectly cooked through, just a little bit of brown. And the way that you tell that they're done is you take a fork and you just poke the sides and see how easily the fork is going in. That means that they're ready to be shredded into noodles. Um, I'm using tongs because they're still pretty hot and I wanna burn my hand. So with my fork, I'm just going to insert it onto the side and then pull out. And it's just like magic, it's so cool. You're just gonna start seeing noodles form. It's almost like you're making, you know, rice noodles or spaghetti just from a vegetable. It's really awesome. 
So just shred all the way around the sides, work from one side to the other. So what you're gonna be left with are spaghetti squash noodles that look just like spaghetti. How cool is that? I'll see you guys in the next video.